Aloha and good evening, everyone. We are at the 15th annual Maui Film Festival. We're at the Grand Wailea. The Seaside Cinema is the brand new event here. And this evening, they are honoring the lovely, the sweet, the talented, the beautiful Emma Roberts. Welcome to Maui. Thank you so much for being here and talking with us. So how do you like Maui so far? Thank you. I'm I'm in love with Maui. I was, I was just telling someone earlier, I'm already planning my next trip here and I haven't left yet. And I, I was already talking about coming back. So I, it's like nowhere I've ever been. And since I was a little girl, I would just be like, Mom, I want to go on vacation to Hawaii. And we never got to go. This is my first time. What? So yeah, it's been, it's been amazing. Are you um, going to do anything exciting? Any like cool adventures? Um, I'm going to try to get horseback riding in, um, like on the beach, because everyone said I should do that. So I'm going to try to do that. And then I've just been exploring the beaches. And, and I mean, coming from California, where it's like the water is not anything you want to swim in, it's heaven. I, mean, we were just, I was just floating in the ocean all day today, and it was so fun. Awesome. So you're being honored as the shining star. And the shining star, I quote, <laughs> is a film artist who dares to dream big dreams and delivers brilliantly charismatic and revelatory performances every time that opportunity knocks. We agree with that. <laughs> Maui more because the compliments that I've been getting here are just crazy so I'm, I know where to come if I ever am feeling down. <laughs> well would you agree that you're that go-getter type of personality? Um, I definitely when I when I want to roll like I, I I go for it a hundred percent like um, we're the Millers I remember I, I auditioned for that like three times and I was just kind of like I'm, I'm gonna get this part like I this is my role and everyone was like okay you know whatever and and then it ended up happening and, and I was like I knew it I said it from day one so I think it's also like about putting it out there and really kind of like like going in with that kind of attitude no matter what, it, what what your job is or what you do you know well perseverance that's a good lesson to learn you are a role model for lots of young people but especially young girls do you have any advice for maybe our local Maui teens who are looking to get into the industry I mean, I would say just you kind of have to have a thick skin and not take criticism seriously. I mean, I have a 13-year-old sister, and that's the advice that I give her because it's tough, like, when you hear something negative. But I think to kind of, like, just let things roll off your back and not not take it too, too to heart because I know at that age it's so hard not to. I mean, I still have a hard time not taking Sometimes when you hear something bad, taking it to heart, so... Don't we all, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we have Maui Watch Ohana at home watching, and we have a few questions from them. Okay. We have Kyle Lee who asks, if you had to choose between acting and singing, because you used to sing a little, right, what would you do? Definitely I, acting. I think I've already made the choice. I would, mm -hmm. I would sing if it was for a role, but um, singing was always, I would, I would get so shy and embarrassed, um, and acting to me is just much more like my passion. So I would say acting. Would you think that that might be in the future like would that be a cool thing for you to do a singing acting type of a movie I think that would be cool I mean I, I some people have done it and it's amazing like when it's like a biopic or something like that or if it makes sense not just kind of gratuitously like putting yourself out there to be like criticized singing especially because like I'm not the best singer so oh. <laughs> so yeah I can I can carry a tune but I try to keep my voice down so not many people can hear me <laughs> she's humble too folks look at that all right well we've got Greg Lau he says how is the book The Elementals? And are you researching new parts through your summer reading list? Good question. I like that question. Um, the Elementals is good so far. I'm only on page 20 because I, you can't get me out of the ocean here, so I haven't had time to read. Um, and then, yeah, I, lo I, I love like reading a good book and then finding out if it's going to be made into a movie. Um, and, and I just love summer reading. There's something about summer reading that's so nice. Um, and uh, n next on my list is, oh, of course, David, David Leviton, the author. I can't remember now the name of the book. It's slipping my mind. But I, I just bought a bunch of his books. So he, he's my next author. I'm reading all his books. What type of books are those? They're kind of like young, romancy love books, which I'm a sucker for. <laughs> nice. And our last viewer question from Tasha Tanimoto. What can viewers look forward to for season four of American Horror Story? I know. I don't even know what I can look forward to yet because they haven't given us a script. But I know it's freak show, and I know it's 1950s. And I've been dying to do a period piece of some kind. So 1950s is, like, getting me so excited. And it's also going to be fun to uh, do that time, like, that time period because there's, like, no phones, mm -hmm. the hair and the makeup so different. And so I think that that'll, that'll be really fun to play with. And speaking of, you know, what you're doing in the future, what's up next for you? What's your big, exciting new thing? Um, I mean, pretty much American Horror Story, my, my second season on the show, the fourth season of the show. Um, that's kind of what I'm most excited for. And then I'm going to North Carolina at the end of the month to shoot a movie called Ashby. And it's with uh, Mickey Rourke and Nat Wolf, who I just was in a movie with called Palo Alto. So that's going to be really fun. 
Awesome. One last question. Yes. Out of all the movies you've been in, all of the projects <laughs> you've done, TV shows, the singing, whatever, <laughs> no, what is the one project that you're most proud of? Probably Palo Alto, which just came out last month. It's like, it's based on a book that I love by James Franco. I got to work with Gia Coppola, who's a friend of mine. She directed the movie, and, and I'd wanted to work with James Franco forever, and him and I kind of have a romance in it. And, and I don't know, I was, just, I was just most proud of kind of my, my work ethic on that movie and also the, the product. Awesome. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Mahalo from all of us at Maui Watch, and we want to say congratulations for your award this tonight. So, guys, tomorrow, Evan Rachel Wood, Joe Maginiello, awesome guy. Very, very, very cool. <laughs> so see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.